From allegations of rape to drug-related offenses, Mystical's journey has been anything but ordinary. One can't help but ask, what the heck happened to Mystical? Mystical, a well-known rapper on the wrong side of the law tonight, his third rape arrest over the past two decades. Join me as I uncover the disturbing details surrounding Mystical's alleged crimes and the events that led to his downfall, as well as the legal battles he has had to endure. Let's jump right in. What happened to Mystical? In 2003, Mystical's life took a dark turn when he was convicted of sexual battery and extortion in connection to the rape of his former hairstylist. The incident sent shockwaves through the music industry and forever tarnished the rapper's reputation. The incident occurred in 2002 when Mystical invited his former hairstylist to his home. What was supposed to be a routine visit turned into a nightmare for the young woman. Mystical, fueled by a combination of power and aggression, violated her in the most heinous way possible. The victim, traumatized by the assault, bravely came came forward and reported the incident to the authorities. Mystical was subsequently arrested and charged with sexual battery and extortion. The evidence against him was overwhelming, and he ultimately pleaded guilty to the charges. The fallout from Mystical's conviction was swift and severe. His career, which had been on an upward trajectory, came crashing down. Record labels dropped him, radio stations stopped playing his music, and fans turned their backs on him. The once promising rapper was now a pariah in the industry he had once dominated. In January 2004, Mystical was sentenced to six years in prison. The conviction not only marked the end of his freedom, but also the end of his music career as he knew it. The once charismatic performer was now confined to a prison cell, left to reflect on the consequences of his actions. During his time behind bars, Mystical's absence from the music scene was palpable. The void left by his absence allowed other artists to rise to prominence, further pushing him into the shadows. His once thriving career was now a distant memory, replaced by the stigma of his criminal conviction. After serving his prison sentence, Mystical attempted to make a comeback in the music industry. However, the damage had been done, and the industry was hesitant to embrace him once again. His attempts to regain his former glory were met with lukewarm reception, and his music failed to resonate with audiences as it once had. The impact of Mystical's conviction extended beyond his career. It forever altered the perception of him as an artist and as a person. Mystical's story serves as a reminder that fame and success do not exempt individuals from the consequences of their actions. The victims of his crimes were forever scarred, their lives forever changed by the trauma they endured. While Mystical served his time in prison, the impact of his actions continued to reverberate through the lives of those affected. As Mystical's career continued to spiral downward following his sexual assault conviction, he found himself entangled in a web of drug-related offenses that further tarnished his reputation. The once promising rapper had become a shadow of his former self, grappling with personal demons and legal troubles that seemed to follow him wherever he went. In 2017, Mystical faced another legal battle when he was charged with rape and kidnapping. In addition to the rape and kidnapping charges, Mystical Mystical also faced a slew of other legal issues. His alleged involvement in drug-related offenses resulted in additional charges, including possession of Schedule II amphetamine, possession of Schedule IV controlled dangerous substance, possession of Schedule I controlled dangerous substance, and drug paraphernalia. These charges further compounded his legal troubles and painted a picture of a man caught in a cycle of self-destruction. However, after spending two years in jail, Mystical was able to post a $3 million bond and was subsequently released. As the legal proceedings unfolded, it became apparent that there there was a lack of evidence to support the allegations. Eventually, the charges were dropped, and Mystical was able to avoid a conviction. While the dismissal of the charges was a relief for Mystical, the legal battles had taken their toll. The constant scrutiny and uncertainty had left a lasting impact on his mental and emotional well-being. The once promising rapper had become a symbol of controversy and legal troubles, forever associated with the dark side of the music industry. Also, the discovery of these illicit substances shed light on Mystical's alleged involvement in the drug trade. It was a stark contrast to to the image he had once projected as a rising star in the music industry. The allure of fame and fortune had seemingly led him down a dark path, where drugs became a means of escape and self-destruction. The impact of Mystical's alleged involvement in drug-related offenses was far-reaching. It further damaged his already fragile reputation and alienated him from the music industry. Record labels and promoters were hesitant to associate themselves with an artist embroiled in such controversy, and fans became disillusioned with the man they had once idolized. While the full extent of Mystical's involvement in drug-related offenses remains unclear, the allegations alone have left a lasting impact on his life and career. The once charismatic performer had become a cautionary tale, a symbol of the dangers of succumbing to the temptations of the streets. The truth is, Mystical's life has been marred by a series of legal battles, each one further complicating his already troubled journey. From sexual assault convictions to drug-related offenses, the rapper found himself facing a myriad of charges that would have a lasting impact on his life and career. After the dismissal of the charges and the end of his 
legal battles, Mystical faced the daunting task of rebuilding his life and reputation. The aftermath of his legal troubles presented numerous challenges that would test his resilience and determination. But to be honest, his run-ins with the law just didn't let up. This renowned rapper, whose real name is Michael Lawrence Tyler, finds himself entangled in yet another legal battle. With a grand jury indictment on charges of first-degree rape, along with multiple other criminal counts, Mystical's future hangs in the balance. As you already know, this is not the first time Mystical has faced severe legal troubles. In 2017, he was incarcerated for nearly 18 months on charges of first-degree rape and second-degree kidnapping. However, those charges were eventually dismissed due to the discovery of new evidence. Mystical had hoped to move on from that dark chapter, yet now finds himself entangled in another distressing legal drama. According to court records and the testimony of Sheriff's Detective Garrett Keith, the alleged incident involving Mystical took place at his Baton Rouge home in late July. A female acquaintance visited to discuss a financial agreement, but the encounter took a violent turn. Reportedly, Mystical's behavior abruptly changed, resulting in an alleged sexual assault. These serious accusations prompted the grand jury's decision to charge him with first-degree rape. If convicted of the rape charge, Mystical faces a mandatory life sentence as per state law in Louisiana. Additionally, there are nine other criminals, counts ranging from criminal damage to property to drug-related offenses. The accumulation of these charges places Mystical in a precarious legal position, with high stakes for his personal and professional life. The ripple effect of Mystical's legal troubles extends beyond his circumstances. It leaves fans, as well as the music industry, grappling with their perceptions of his artistry and his place in the hip-hop community. The serious nature of these allegations demands a thorough legal process to determine the truth and appropriate consequences. Mystical's current legal entanglements represent a troubling chapter in his life and career. Facing a grand jury indictment on charges of first-degree rape, along with several other criminal counts, he must now navigate the legal system once again. The outcome of these proceedings will not only impact Mystical's future, but also raise broader discussions about the responsibility and accountability of artists. As the case progresses, we are reminded of the importance of adhering to the principles of justice, ensuring a fair and thorough examination of the evidence. But what made Mystical's life one full of rape charges? What was his life like? Life of Mystical. Mystical, whose real name is Michael Lawrence Tyler, was born on September 22, 1970, in New Orleans, Louisiana. He grew up in the 12th Ward of New Orleans, a neighborhood known for its vibrant music scene and rich cultural heritage. However, Mystical's early life was not without its challenges. At the tender age of seven, Mystical experienced a devastating loss when his father, who ran a small neighborhood store, passed away. This tragedy left a profound impact on Mystical and shaped his outlook on life and music. Despite the hardships he faced, Mystical found solace and inspiration in music. Music, which would ultimately become his ticket to fame. Mystical attended Cohen High School, where he nurtured his passion for music and honed his skills as a performer. It was during his high school years that Mystical began to explore his talents as a rapper, drawing influence from the vibrant hip-hop culture that permeated New Orleans. His unique style and energetic performances quickly caught the attention of the local music scene. Growing up in the tough neighborhoods of the Crescent City, Mystical faced numerous challenges from an early age. The streets were rife with crime and temptation, but his mother, whose name was Mary, was determined determined to shield him from the dangers that lurked around every corner. Mary, a strong and loving woman, understood the importance of education and the potential it held for her son's future. Despite their financial struggles, she instilled in Mystical a deep appreciation for learning and encouraged him to excel in school. Mystical's mother knew that education was the key to breaking free from the cycle of poverty that had gripped their community for generations. She believed that by focusing on his studies, Mystical could escape the hardships that surrounded them and create a better life for himself. Determined to provide her son with every opportunity possible, Mary made sacrifices to ensure that he had the resources he needed to succeed academically. She worked long hours, often taking on multiple jobs to make ends meet and support Mystical's education. But Mary's influence extended beyond just encouraging Mystical's education. She also played a crucial role in keeping him away from the temptations of the streets. She knew that the allure of crime and the fast money it promised could easily derail her son's future. Mary's unwavering love and guidance served as a constant reminder to Mystical that he had a choice to either succumb to the pressures of his environment or rise above them. Her strength and determination became the foundation upon which Mystical would build his life and career. As Mystical grew older, he discovered a passion for music, initially expressing himself through breakdancing. But it was his transition to rapping that would ultimately shape his destiny. His talent and raw energy caught the attention of industry professionals, leading him down a path that would forever change his life. Mystical's journey from the poverty-stricken streets of New Orleans to the stages of fame and fortune was not without its challenges. 
things. But through it all, he carried with him the lessons instilled by his mother, the importance of education, the power of resilience, and the strength to overcome adversity. In the vibrant and competitive music scene of the 1990s, Mystical's raw talent and electrifying performances propelled him to the forefront of the rap industry. From his humble beginnings as a breakdancer, he made a seamless transition into the world of rapping, captivating audiences with his unique style and unmatched energy. Mystical's journey as a rapper began when he caught the attention of industry professionals with his dynamic stage, presence, and undeniable charisma. His ability to command the crowd and deliver powerful performances set him apart from his peers, earning him a reputation as a rising star. It was during this time that Mystical caught the eye of Big Boy Records, a prominent record label known for its roster of talented artists. Recognizing his potential, they offered him a record deal, providing him with the platform he needed to showcase his skills to a wider audience. With the support of Big Boy Records, Mystical released his debut album in 1994, introducing the world to his unique blend of gritty lyrics, rapid-fire delivery, and infectious beats. The album was met with critical acclaim, solidifying his place in the rap industry and setting the stage for his future success. Mystical's music resonated with listeners on a deep level as he fearlessly tackled topics such as the struggles of growing up in poverty, the harsh realities of street life, and the pursuit of dreams against all odds. His lyrics were a reflection of his own experiences, allowing fans to connect with his authenticity and raw emotion. As his popularity soared, Mystical became known for his high-energy performances and electrifying stage presence. His live shows were a spectacle, leaving audiences in awe of his unparalleled talent and magnetic personality. With each subsequent album release, Mystical continued to push the boundaries of his artistry, experimenting with different sounds and collaborating with industry heavyweights. His music resonated with a wide range of listeners, transcending boundaries and solidifying his status as a musical phenomenon. However, just as Mystical's star was on the rise, tragedy struck in 1994. On his birthday, he received the devastating news of his sister's murder. This unimaginable loss sent shockwaves through his life, leaving him grappling with grief and a profound sense of loss. In the wake of this tragedy, Mystical channeled his pain and emotions into his music, using it as a cathartic outlet to express his inner turmoil. The raw honesty and vulnerability in his lyrics resonated with fans, who found solace and connection in his music during their struggles. After the tragic loss of his sister, Mystical's music took on a new depth and intensity. His emotional journey resonated with listeners, propelling him to even greater heights in the rap industry. It was during this time that he caught the attention of No Limit Records, a powerhouse label known for its roster of successful artists. Signing with No Limit Records marked a turning point in Mystical's career. The label recognized his raw talent and unique style, providing him with the platform and resources to further showcase his artistry. Under the guidance of No Limit Records, Mystical released a string of successful albums that solidified his status as a rap icon. His albums were met with critical acclaim and commercial success. With chart-topping hits that dominated the airwaves, Mystical's rapid-fire delivery, clever wordplay, and infectious energy captivated audiences, making him a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. However, just as Mystical's career was reaching new heights, a dark cloud loomed on the horizon. In 2002, he was arrested and charged with sexual assault and extortion. Mystical faced a lengthy legal battle, fighting to clear his name and prove his innocence. Despite the charges being dismissed due to lack of evidence, the damage had been done. The shadow of the accusations lingered, casting a cloud over his career and personal life. Despite the setbacks, Mystical remained determined to reclaim his place in the music industry. After serving a six-year prison sentence, he sought to make a comeback, releasing new music and attempting to rebuild his reputation. However, the road to redemption proved to be challenging. Mystical faced numerous obstacles and setbacks, struggling to regain the same level of success he had achieved prior to his legal troubles. The industry, once eager to embrace him, seemed hesitant to fully embrace his return. Eventually, Mystical parted ways with Cash Money Records, further complicating his journey back into the spotlight. Despite his undeniable talent and the resilience he displayed throughout his career, the weight of his past continued to cast a long shadow over his future. After serving a six-year prison sentence, Mystical faced the daunting task of rebuilding his life and resurrecting his music career. His release from prison marked a new chapter, one filled with personal challenges, redemption, and the pursuit of a comeback in the music industry. Determined to leave his past behind, Mystical embarked on a journey of self-discovery and growth. He sought to prove that he had learned from his mistakes and was ready to make a fresh start, but the road to redemption would not be an easy one. Mystical's attempts at a comeback in the music industry were met with mixed results. While he still possessed the raw talent and charisma that had captivated audiences in the past, the industry seemed hesitant to fully embrace him once again. Setbacks and obstacles plagued Mystical's path to redemption. He faced resistance from record labels, radio 
radio stations and even some fans who were still skeptical of his intentions. The weight of his past continued to cast a long shadow over his future. To show you how successful Mystical was going to be, let me dive even deeper into his career moves. Mystical's career. After graduating from high school, Mystical made a pivotal decision that would shape his future. He joined the United States Army as a combat engineer, seeking new experiences and opportunities. Little did he know that his time in the Army would further fuel his passion for music and set him on the path to stardom. While serving in the Army, Mystical had the opportunity to showcase his talents as a rapper. He opened for renowned artists such as Run DMC and Doug E. Fresh at an outdoor concert at the Trim Center. It was at this concert that Mystical's raw talent and electrifying stage presence caught the attention of Leroy Precise Edwards, the house producer for Big Boy Records. Impressed by Mystical's performance, Leroy Edwards approached him with a life-changing offer. He granted Mystical a contract with Big Boy Records, a New Orleans-based independent record label. This marked the beginning of Mystical's professional music career and set him on a trajectory toward success. Mystical's early career and his stint with Big Boy Records marked a pivotal period in his journey to becoming a prominent figure in the music industry. After signing with the New Orleans-based independent record label, Mystical's talent and unique style began to shine, propelling him to regional success and setting the stage for his future accomplishments. In 1994, Mystical released his debut album, aptly titled Mystical, under Big Boy Records. The album showcased his distinctive vocal delivery, characterized by a raspy and energetic tone that set him apart from other artists in the hip-hop genre. With tracks like Y'all Ain't Ready Yet and Here I Go, Mystical captivated listeners with his raw talent and captivating stage presence. Mystical quickly gained traction and became one of Big Boy Records' most successful albums. The project not only solidified Mystical's position as a rising star, but also garnered critical acclaim for its innovative sound and lyrical prowess. His bold and obstreperous style resonated with audiences and Mystical's fan base began to grow rapidly. However, Mystical's early career was not without its challenges. In 1995, he found himself embroiled in a conflict with fellow New Orleans rappers signed to rival Cash Money Records, including UNLV and the BGZ. This rivalry led to a series of diss tracks aimed at Mystical, such as Drag Em In The River by UNLV and F Big Boy by the BGs. Unfazed by the criticism, Mystical responded with tracks like Beware and Here I Go, which were featured on his second album, Mind of Mystical. Tragically, during this period, Mystical experienced the loss of his sister, Michelle Tyler, in September 1994. Her untimely death had a profound impact on Mystical's music and became a driving force behind his artistic expression. He paid homage to his sister in songs like not that nigga from Mind of Mystical and continued to reference her in subsequent albums, including Unpredictable and Let's Get Ready. Despite the challenges and personal setbacks, Mystical's talent and perseverance caught the attention of industry insiders and fellow artists. One notable collaboration that emerged during this time was with Lil Wayne. Although they initially had a feud, Mystical and Lil Wayne eventually reconciled and went on to collaborate on various projects showcasing their mutual respect and admiration for each other's craft. Mystical's unique style and energetic performances continued to captivate audiences, leading to his signing with Jive Records. In 1995, he released his album Mind of Mystical under Jive, further solidifying his position in the music industry. The album showcased his growth as an artist and featured collaborations with notable artists such as OutKast. Mystical's time with Big Boy Records and his early career laid the foundation for his future success. His distinctive vocal delivery, raw energy, and unapologetic style set him apart from his peers and established him as a force to be reckoned with in the hip-hop scene. Mystical's signing to No Limit Records marked a significant turning point in his career. Under the guidance of Master P, the label's founder, Mystical, experienced a new level of success and recognition in the music industry. His time with No Limit Records not only solidified his status as a rising star, but also allowed him to collaborate with some of the biggest names in hip-hop. 1996, Mystical signed with No Limit Records, a prominent independent record label based in New Orleans. This partnership proved to be a game changer for Mystical, as he gained access to a wider audience and a platform to showcase his unique talents. His signing to No Limit Records opened doors to new opportunities and collaborations that would shape the trajectory of his career. Shortly after joining No Limit Records, Mystical released his album Unpredictable in November 1997. The album showcased his growth as an artist and featured a fusion of gritty, hard-hitting beats and Mystical's signature raspy vocal delivery. Tracks like Ain't No Limit and The Man Right Chi became instant hits, further solidifying Mystical's place in the hip-hop scene. During his time with No Limit Records, Mystical had the opportunity to collaborate with some of the biggest names in the industry. One notable collaboration was with Mariah Carey on her album Rainbow. Mystical's distinct style and energetic performance added a unique flavor to the track Did I Do That, 
showcasing his versatility as an artist. Mystical's collaborations extended beyond the realm of hip-hop, as he also worked with artists from different genres. His ability to seamlessly blend his rap style with various musical influences allowed him to reach a broader audience. Mystical's versatility and willingness to experiment with different sounds set him apart from his peers and contributed to his growing popularity. In addition to his collaborations, Mystical's presence on No Limit Records' compilation albums further solidified his status as a key member of the label. He appeared on numerous tracks alongside fellow No Limit artists, including Master P, Silk K the Shocker, and C Murder. These collaborations showcase the camaraderie and unity within the No Limit family, as well as Mystical's ability to hold his own among his talented label mates. Mystical's time with No Limit Records was marked by both creative success and personal growth. His unique style and energetic performances resonated with audiences, earning him a dedicated fan base. However, like any artist, Mystical faced his fair share of challenges. His departure from No Limit Records in 2000 marked the end of an era as he sought new opportunities to further his career. Despite his departure from the label, Mystical's contributions to No Limit Records and the impact he made during his time there cannot be understated. His raw talent, distinctive vocal delivery, and unapologetic style left an indelible mark on the label's legacy and the hip-hop genre as a whole. Mystical's albums Let's Get Ready and Tarantula marked a significant period in his career, showcasing his artistic growth and resilience in the face of personal and legal challenges. These albums not only solidified his status as a prominent figure in the music industry, but also also highlighted his ability to overcome adversity and continue creating impactful music. In 2000, Mystical released his highly anticipated album, Let's Get Ready. This album would become a defining moment in his career, propelling him to new heights of success and recognition. Let's Get Ready debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, making it Mystical's only chart-topping album to date. The album featured a diverse range of tracks that showcased Mystical's versatility as an artist. One of the standout singles from Let's Get Ready was Shake Your Ass, featuring Pharrell Williams. The infectious beat and catchy chorus made it an instant hit, reaching number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100. The song's success catapulted Mystical into the mainstream, solidifying his status as a household name. Another notable single from the album was Danger Been So Long, featuring Nivea, which reached number 14 on the Billboard Hot 100. Let's Get Ready not only showcased Mystical's ability to create chart-topping hits, but also highlighted his growth as an artist. The album featured a fusion of different musical styles, blending elements of hip-hop, R&B, and funk. Mystical's unique flow and energetic delivery remained a constant throughout the album, captivating listeners with his raw talent and distinctive voice. Following the success of Let's Get Ready, Mystical released his album Tarantula in 2001. This album further solidified his reputation as a dynamic and innovative artist. Tarantula showcased Mystical's ability to push boundaries and experiment with different sounds. The album featured the hit single Bouncing Back, Bumping Me Against the Wall, which showcased Mystical's typical flow style while incorporating elements of jazz and swing. The release of Tarantula garnered critical acclaim and earned Mystical a Grammy Award nomination for Best Rap Album in 2003. The album's success was a testament to Mystical's resilience and determination to create impactful music despite the challenges he faced in his personal life. Unfortunately, Mystical's career was marred by legal troubles during this period, and well, you know the rest. In 2010, shortly after his release from prison, Mystical headlined a concert at the Mahalia Jackson Theater of the Performing Arts on Mardi Gras. This highly anticipated performance served as a powerful statement of his return to the stage and his commitment to his music. The concert was met with overwhelming support from fans who eagerly embraced Mystical's comeback. Mystical's first song after his release, an underground track titled I Don't Like You, featuring former No Limit label mate Fiend, showcased his raw talent and lyrical prowess. The track served as a reintroduction to the music scene, reminding listeners of Mystical's unique style and his ability to captivate audiences with his energetic delivery. Shortly after his initial comeback, Mystical caught the attention of Atlanta-based, New Orleans-born R&B artist Lloyd. The two collaborated on the track Set Me Free, which was released in 2010. The music video for the song, shot in New Orleans, primarily from the Calliope Projects, further solidified Mystical's return to the forefront of the music industry. In an interview in May 2010, Mystical revealed that he was still obligated to jive records for one more album. Determined to make a lasting impact with his comeback, he took the necessary time to ensure that his next album would be his best work to date. During this period, Mystical released a promo song called Paper Cuts, featuring Fiend and Lil Wayne, further fueling anticipation for his upcoming album. In 2011, Mystical performed at the Gathering of the Juggalos, a music festival 
festival known for its diverse lineup and dedicated fan base. His performance was met with enthusiasm and served as a testament to his enduring popularity and ability to connect with audiences. Later that year, Mystical's career took another significant turn when he signed with Cash Money Records, a prominent record label founded by Birdman. This new partnership opened doors to even greater opportunities for Mystical as he joined the ranks of renowned artists such as Lil Wayne, Drake, and Nicki Minaj. Mystical's first single under Cash Money Records, titled Original, was released shortly after signing with the label. The track featured new label mates Birdman and Lil Wayne, further solidifying Mystical's place within the Cash Money family. In 2014, Mystical collaborated with Mark Ronson on the song Feel Right, which was featured on Ronson's album Uptown Special. The track showcased Mystical's ability to seamlessly blend his energetic rap style with Ronson's funk-infused production, resulting in a dynamic and infectious song. Mystical's post-incarceration comeback was not limited to solo endeavors and collaborations. He continued to make his mark in the music industry through live performances and tours. In 2016, he embarked on shows in Bahrain and Bulgaria, captivating audiences with his electrifying stage presence and undeniable talent. One notable collaboration in Mystical's recent projects is his appearance on Joyner Lucas's track Flying from the album 508-507-2209. Released in 2017, FYWM showcased Mystical's ability to seamlessly blend his raw energy with Lucas's thought-provoking lyrics. The track received critical acclaim for its powerful message and dynamic performances from both artists. Mystical's collaboration with Joyner Lucas was just one example of his continued presence in the music industry. Throughout his career, he has consistently sought out collaborations with artists from various genres, showcasing his versatility and willingness to explore new musical territories. In addition to his collaborations, Mystical has made notable appearances on tracks by other artists. In 2016, he was featured on Just a Lil Thick, She Juicy, by Trinidad James, along with Lil Dicky. The track showcased Mystical's ability to infuse his energetic flow into a catchy and lighthearted song, further expanding his reach to a broader audience. Mystical's live performances have also remained a highlight of his recent project. Known for his electrifying stage presence, he has continued to captivate audiences with his high-energy performances. In 2016, he embarked on a tour across the United States, thrilling fans with his dynamic stage shows and delivering his signature hits with unmatched intensity. But again, you know this was short-lived. Mystical was caught in another wave of charges. His life and career have been a roller coaster of triumphs and challenges. I can't help but feel sad for him and his victims. Lives ruined. I can only hope everyone gets justice. Thanks for watching. Click on the videos on your screen for similar content.